Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto, and we're just going to jump into some price analysis on BPRO. I've not covered it for a while, and a few people have been asking, so what we'll do, we'll take a look at in both the, the Tether pair, and if there's a Bitcoin pair, we'll check that too. As you can see, I've already got a bit of a setup here, but we'll, we'll run into that in a second. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button, and let's crack on. So welcome, as ever, this video is in partnership with Cointelegraph Markets Pro. It's a great platform I use to collect all my data. You'll find a full review of that on my homepage on my YouTube channel. Um, right, so BPRO, um, we've not covered this for a long time on this channel. I've covered it in a few live streams, that's why I've got a bit of a setup going on, but this uh, suffered severely, didn't it, on that, that dropout. We had, I believe, yeah, March, ever since March, April, May time, crypto pretty much died off. I missed it a 95% drop, which was astronomical. Um, I'm not going to put a downtrend from there because we have been out time, but we've pushed up here, and I want to really stick to a price analysis around this move here. So we had that push to the upside. We've then rejected at 0 0.017, so that's 1.7 cent, and we are in a lower time frame downtrend here. This trend here is now the uptrend that we are forming. So I've got an uptrend here. We then have a downtrend here. And we've, as you can see, we've rejected a downtrend, which is also a key level of weekly resistance. So this red band here is thick level of resistance. As you can see here, we rejected off it. We did break through it once here, but we come back down. We rejected off it here. And we also rejected off it here as well. So it's a key fundamental area that we need to break through in order to progress and target the next level. I just want to put a little bit of a bearish spin on this first and with this we'll just identify a few key levels so we'll we'll go from a bottom of a move here up to that top if you're looking for some buys what i would consider is this area which we've already tapped so we've got that major move to the upside here what i then look for is a retracement to the 382 level which is this that's at one cent pretty much on the money so that's the area i would be considering buying we've used this every support here so that area is where I would consider buying as well. So if you're looking for buys, I mean, probably going to tap here again once more, maybe. So one cent is the area I would consider. We're currently at 1.1 cent now. I mean, if you've been wanting to buy this for ages and you like the project, I wouldn't even worry about a couple of point cent here, just buying and, and hold long term. Uh, personally, I'm not, um, I've not looked into fundamentals. I'm just doing this off a pure TA perspective. Um, so you have to bear that in mind too. But um, we have a, a thick area support here. And then we've got that trend line, which you would expect we pretend, I mean, we've tapped it there. Uh, we've tapped it here as well. So maybe um, that is now done and we do start to push up. The next thing we need to target really is this uptrend here that's why i've got this um i've put this path on this golden path here which i think is a a bit of a scenario i would like to play out we've already attempted to break it once but we rejected come back down here so the, the key level next is to break through this region which is 1.27 cent once we break through that i'm expecting us to break through um well potentially something like this we have a breakthrough reject office come back to test that downtrend and then push up and then do a similar move to that so the first area i would consider selling to accumulate is 1.3 cent but then we have uh, some more levels up here uh, around um 1.6 cent and then we obviously got this key level up here at two point well two cent on the nose so all in all things are looking bullish now on this time frame we are starting to progress if we did drop below though this trend line it would be bearish to be honest and i think you'd You've been target buys at 0 0.0088 so hopefully fingers crossed you can start to break through and we'll regain some momentum very very soon if you're looking for price predictions on this it's quite hard because the chart is so aggressive but what i tend to do is something like this i usually put the, the fib on from the top of a move all the way down to the bottom as you can see we double bottomed we, we tapped it there tapped it there bang straight up so the areas i would consider looking to take profit is first the all-time high at 0.047 that's just under five cent and then you can have a look at some of these extensions on a fib you got 0.075 uh, 10 cent 12 cent 15 cent but they're a long long way off yet i mean uh, we've still got a break out of this lower time frame downtrend and once we do break it out of that and um, we'll do some more analysis 
if you want me to cover B Pro more, let me know in the comments. Um, uh, and if we get enough comments and enough views, and we will start to to do some more analysis on this asset. Um, one more thing I want to take a look at is your BTC pairing before we wrap this video up. Um, in terms of BTC pairs, this goes across the board. I'm I'm quite bearish on the BTC pairs. I'm expecting either boringness, side to side action, or a drop. And I, I wouldn't rule out. Um, this is nothing against BPRO, this is just the entire market. I wouldn't rule out a drop to here, as you can see, it's a key area support here. Support, support, and I wouldn't um, discount some orders getting filled down there. So if you're looking for some buys on BPRO, um, on the BTC pairing, look to target this region around 800 sats. It won't go any lower than that, as you can see, it's a, it's a clear bottom there, uh, and it will not go below that, to be honest. So that is your area to buy if. The market did allow and BTC. That's if BTC goes on a big run. If BTC starts pushing up 80, 90, 100k, the Satoshis are going to feel the pressure and they're going to start to drop. So that is an area um, I would consider buys. Um, so that's it for today's video. Worst from one thing I'd just like to um, point out that my uh, Patreon is now live. So if you're looking for a place where you can get news, education, technical analysis, chatting setups, chat requests, anything you want which is you think is going to help you benefit from this next crypto cycle then join our patreon we've got a nice active group we are doing weekly live streams now where we do a q a and uh, basically just questions about anything to do with crypto and chart analysis so you'll find that link in the description of this video if you're new to this channel please make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and i'll catch you next time